How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I think it's been a good day for Pat Cipollone and his team. Uh, it's been twice baked potatoes for Adam Schiff and his team. I mean, yeah, listen, I've heard the same arguments over and over again. Uh, we continue to hear that um, Adam Schiff wants more evidence. Here's the three things that we do know. We know that indeed one is they're not prepared to go to trial. Two is, is if they are prepared to go to trial, they're not satisfied with the evidence they have. And three, uh, you know, in their rush to get things here to the Senate, uh, they've left out one key factor and that's evidence that would support a crime. And so uh, uh, not only should uh, this be dismissed, but certainly uh, the president uh, should be vindicated in this trial. Well, we are part of the legal team, but, but in, certain, in not making oral arguments on the Senate floor. Uh, obviously, the oral arguments, uh, there's no plan for the additional House members uh, to make uh, those uh, oral arguments. Uh, but just Lee Zeldin and I uh, actually came from uh, the Senate floor, and certainly we'll be circling back with White House counsel today. We were there earlier this morning as we uh, prep for the amendments and motions that were going to be made today. The president's uh, defense team made the argument that, that certainly uh, uh, having additional witnesses and additional subpoenas, uh, that this time and this place is not the proper time for that. The proper time for that was in the House uh, during the investigation. Uh, Adam Schiff and uh, 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 Representative Lofgren uh, both argued that uh, they needed additional evidence, additional subpoenas in order to move forward. The other thing that we heard that is probably the underlying aspect of all of this is that the president has been denied due process. And, and we heard that even validated by uh, the, the House managers from the Democratic side. In, indeed, a uh, 79-day process that was there, 71 days, uh, the president was denied due process and legal counsel. Uh, and, and then when, on the 72nd day, when they said that they could actually have representation, when the president could have representation, uh, Nancy Pelosi made a, uh, a call within 24 hours to say draft up the articles of impeachment. So it was a predetermined outcome uh, that was done in a way that uh, is really contradictory to our Constitution and due process. Now, I don't normally comment on the conversations I may or may not have with the president, but I can assure you that uh, he is being well informed uh, uh, on a hour by hour and minute by minute basis on what's happening here. 